Okay. Welcome back to Trinity. We're here at an incredible weekend with Lutheran Church Charities. And one of their ministries they have with Lutheran Church Charities is Comfort Dogs. We've been blessed, like with Luther and Ruthie here, they have been comforting us all over um, the city of Prescott and Prescott Valley. And so it's Sunday afternoon, and we want to um, introduce Luther and Rosie and their handlers, um, the Martin couple here. And why don't you guys um, share your name? How'd you get involved? Would you like to start, Donna? Sure. I'm Donna Martin, uh, and uh, my husband and I are co-directors of the Canine Comfort Dog Ministry. And we actually started uh, as volunteers uh, with the ministry when it was starting to form. And uh, when we both retired, we wanted to become more involved and uh, had our hands in training a number of these comfort dogs and uh, just seeing the work that they could do. And uh, Tim invited us both to be on staff uh, uh, about three years ago for me and I think about two years ago for, uh, for Rich. So uh, it's a privilege. It's a, something that we probably had not... Uh, considered in our retirement years, uh, number one being this busy, um, but um, as we go out into these communities and see the closeness and, and the love that is out there even in these times of disaster, uh, it's a very humbling experience. And the fact that we can be a part of that healing process, and it's a hard process to watch people go through, but the fact that we can show their the mercy and compassion of Jesus Christ uh, during that time is its a very humbling, humbling experience. With us here today we have Luther. <laughs> hey Luther. Luther is a two-year-old golden retriever and currently we have over 70 golden retrievers. Uh, we work to place them in Lutheran churches and schools so they can use them as outreach tools in the community. And right now we are uh, spread out in eight states, uh, none west of the Rockies yet, but we're working on that. And uh, we, uh, we have had an amazing journey, uh, not only in disaster response, but in the everyday ministry of meeting people where they're at. And uh, it's a ministry of presence, so we show up and we shut up. And we let the, the uh, canine provide the vehicle and the petting to let that person go through and experience whatever they're going through that day, whether it's grief or loss, suffering. Um, pretty much in every community, everybody has a problem that you don't know about, and these dogs just happen to find those people. They're very intuitive. They have a sense for when somebody is sick, uh, when somebody is going through distress, mm -hmm. and they gravitate to those dogs. Mm -hmm. Sherry, how did you... How, how, what's your experience with these dogs this past weekend with us? I, I think it's just been amazing. I, I did not really realize how much comfort people find from the dogs. And to just watch people just release and let go of their emotions and be able to um, really feel comfort from the dogs. It's mm -hmm. just awesome for us to be able to go out there because people approach us. We don't have to approach people. We probably wouldn't have the courage to just walk up with somebody and say, well, can we pray with you? But that dog opens that communication. And, uh, and the other wonderful thing is you can do ministry wherever you are. If you're in McDonald's, if you're in Panera Bread, uh, ministry can be going on. So. Uh, it's a wonderful way to be out there in that community. Tell us, um, Luther, he's been quite a, he's been a world a country traveler. He's he got a lot of uh, miles on, on the plane. A lot Where of ribbons, a lot of ribbons. And I want to introduce Ruthie, Ruthie. Uh, to Ruthie and Luther are, are really great travel mates. And uh, when a disaster happens, we always work through our local Lutheran churches. So uh, we don't come uninvited. We come at the invitation of the local Lutheran church, and we work in a partnership uh, with not only the pastor, but every congregational member that wants to get involved. So when we got the call <coughs> um, to uh, Christ the King in Newtown, Con Connecticut, uh, back on December 14th of last year, um, we put an appeal out to our handlers and offered an opportunity for them to drive at their own expense, on their own time, 
to be with the people of Newtown and the families of Sandy Hook Elementary. And that's pretty much the way it works. There's no, uh, you have to do this, but if the Lord leads you and you have the resources and the time, uh, it can be a very fulfilling experience. While we were there, we also worked with uh, PS43 in the Rockaways school of 1200, elementary school of 1200, in the poorest of poor communities. It was a, a devastated community before Superstorm Sandy. And uh, we went there. School was still working on a generator two months after the storm. Wow. Uh, most of these kids did not have heat uh, in their homes, did not have electric in their homes. And this is two months later. Most of them had never seen a dog before. <laughs> so to have a visit, we had seven dogs there that day, uh, and we had teachers that act, act, absolutely just broke down and cried, got on their knees, and you know it brought out something that they had experienced in the storm. This one gentleman, this one teacher, uh, he had to give away his pet because he lost his home, and it was in a shelter, and he was going to visit it every day, and it was just a very stressful and traumatic thing from them. And uh, from there, we... Uh, Spent five weeks. We went for five days, Don and I did, to uh, Sandy Hook, and we ended up spending five weeks mm -hmm. working in the classroom every day with the teachers and the students. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, we do our thing when we go out, and our thing is just providing a dog for comfort. And we work with the professionals, whether it's you know, pastors, whether it's psychologists, whether it's counselors, crisis counselors. We let them do the work with the dog. And there's not much work to be done because everyone that we work with, are, they're just in amazement. They know, I think they know, but uh, Connecticut's actually one of the first states now that's passed a law for a pet therapy to be used with uh, DCF. Mm -hmm. And from Sandy Hook, we went to uh, Boston Marathon bombings. Uh, we, in between, we made several trips back and forth to Connecticut. We delivered another dog, Maggie, Addie's sister, to be with uh, with her at Sandy Hook Elementary because the, the workload had gotten to be uh, quite uh, intense mm -hmm. and uh, spent three weeks in Boston, yes. moved on to uh, Oklahoma, and at the same time, two days after the, uh, the Boston tragedy, the explosion in West Texas, and we were able to, uh, to deploy two teams sim simultaneously, one team that was still working in Boston and the other team that went to West Texas. And then we were in Oklahoma for three weeks with uh, the two F5 oh. tornadoes and more in El Reno. Mm -hmm. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming to Prescott um, to be with our community as we lost 19 hot shots um, defending Yarnell. And we've really been blessed. And I know our church is looking forward to our first comfort dog within a year from now as we start planning. And the congregation is overwhelmed um, this morning, all three services. Mm -hmm. And so thank you guys so much thank for your you, ministry. Pastor. Pastor, thank us. you. Thank God you. bless Thank you.